to do for um, fun on the side but um, as many of you guys know I've been going through a lot of tough times so I've been posting these videos sharing my experience of what I've gone through and how it's affected my mind my body um, troubles I've gone through such as like depression dealing with the withdrawals with the medications um, and stuff but one thing that I always love to do was to play saxophone. I did it for fun. I did it, um, I want, I, at one point I wanted to do it as a career, but I ended up just doing it for God. Um, so I focused my career on something else. But when I got sick, I got so weak. And because of the paralyzed part of my body, I couldn't lift up my saxophone. And when you have something passion that you're really passionate about, it really hurts. 
it hurts it hurts you a lot because you can't do what you love to do you can't do what you want to do and you know not being able to play saxophone not being able to worship the way i want to worship god it hurt me a lot you know i i mentioned how i couldn't work i mentioned how people left me i mentioned how I couldn't do things on my own, and it hurt. And I also mentioned about the depression part, how when I was going through all those things in the midst of it, there was a point in my life where I was so angry at life, I was so mad at life, that I just wanted to end it all. And what ended up happening was that I almost took a bottle of pills. One day I I was tired of the pain. I was tired of the frustration and, and the bad news I got every single time I went to the doctors. And what I ended up doing was I, I looked at myself in the mirror and, and I looked and I could see all the marks on my body from the medications and the needles and, and the steroids that I had to take and it wasn't easy. It wasn't. It didn't look right. It didn't look good. I was mad at myself. I was mad at what I was going through. And and I grabbed a whole bottle of pills, and I had it at the lips. I had a whole bottle of pills at my lips, and I almost took it. But something took over me. And I ended up throwing the medication in the toilet and I flushed it right away. And I just started crying because of what I was feeling and the emotions. And, you know, I felt alone in my problem. I felt I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't live my life the way I wanted to live. And it hurt. It really hurt. Because I wanted to go out there. I wanted to experience life the way I wanted to experience life. I wanted to go out and work. I wanted to go out and earn money and go out and do things. Go out and eat. Go out and hang out with friends. And not being able to do those things hurt me so much. It hurt a lot. The withdrawals, the sleepiness, the depression, the, the, the anxiety that I had. The times I went to the ER. But to this day, I'm thankful I threw those bottle of pills in the toilet. Today, I'm thankful for what I've gone through. Today, I'm thankful for everything that I've been through. Yes, it wasn't easy, but I've learned a lot through it all. Every time I went to the ER, I saw people who were dealing with what I've gone through. I saw people who died, I kid you not, me and my dad, we will be in the ER and we would see body bags just passing by, you know, people who didn't live another day, people who didn't make it, yet I'm still here, I'm still alive, there was times where I would go in, I see people my age and they're strapped to the bed, the medical bed and they're shaking because they overdose on medication, they went to a rave or a club and you see a bunch of people in their clothes literally shaking the bed and tremoring and, and, and it was horrible. It was, a, it was not a good sight. I would see blood everywhere. I see people cut up and everything like that. And it, it wasn't always, see, the things I saw wasn't easy, but it reminded me how blessed I was. It reminded me how lucky I was to be able to be alive and survive what I'd gone through. For the tumor to come out of my spine was a miracle in itself because that tumor was in the midst of my of my spine. Literally, it was in the midst of my spine. They were supposed to cut through and take it out. But what ended up happening was the tumor came out of my spine. And no one can tell me that my God's not real because through it all, he was there. Through it all, that he would never left me. He never forsake me. And I thank God. That song was Gracias, Gracias, Señor. And I love that song. Because as I started overcoming the depression and the pills and everything, I started thanking God. I started living a, a life of thanks. So as soon as I would wake up, I would thank God for another day of life. I would thank God for what I was going through. I would thank God for this strength and a peace of mind and a peace of heart. And yeah, 
as much as I say these things, it wasn't easy. But what ended up happening was that I was able to overcome it. I mean, it's now January 2018 and I'm med free. I'm pain free. I'm now working and I'm working hard with my father. I'm going to all these events. I'm meeting new people. I'm going out and getting new leads, generating new, new leads. And it's been awesome. It's been amazing. You know, even though I had to relearn how to walk, even though I had to relearn how to do daily things in my life, you know, it was all blessing and it was a humbling experience to have to go through those things. And and the people who stuck by me, I'm so much thankful for that. I would do anything for them. I, you know, they need something. I'm there in a second. They, they want to talk to me. I'll pick up the phone. But God has been a good God. And I'm thankful for that. You know, and this past year, this last couple of weeks um, since I got off the medication, things have been changing in my body. I could feel it. For instance, I've never had allergies in the past three years since I've been sick and dealing with all the medications. But now it's like my body's starting to get used to being off the meds. So now I've been having all these allergies. My eyes are getting all watery and itchy and I'm blowing my nose and sneezing. And I, and I don't like it, but, you know, it, it's, it's just signs my body's are getting used to it. Another thing is um, I'm starting to lose some of my hair. I'll be in a shower and I'm like, oh, man, I could grab some hair and... It's some, I'm used to it because when I was in the midst of all the, the hardship of, of before the surgery, I actually was growing, going bald and it was visible. You could literally see a thin patch of my hair and my doctor started noticing it and, you know, my hair was losing. I could literally be there sitting down and just grabbing my hair and it would just be coming down and it would be like a pile of hair right there next to me. Um... But, you know, I got on probiotics and then that helped me. So I'm going to start probiotics soon So because I, I don't want to lose my hair. Um, I just got it grown back, you know, thick and, and lush, I guess you could say. But, um, but God's good. God's an amazing God. He has been there. And don't give up, you know, don't give up. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there who are struggling with the medications and struggling with doctor's visits and they're tired. They don't know what the, the doctors know what it is. And they're tired of not hearing, I don't know, I don't know. You want to hear what's going on in your body. You want to hear what's going on in your life. Why am I going through this? You know, don't give up. Time will come. You know, it, it takes. it's a process. If you listen to my other video, I talk about how Job was sick and, and how Job came out of it and how God blessed him abundantly, you know. And... I believe. I honestly believe that. I honestly believe that God's gonna bless you even more after you've gone through this, even more after going through all these hardships and troubles. You know, another good thing is I've been going to the gym almost every single day. And when I got out of the hospital, I could only lift two pounds, and it's like little tiny dumbbells. I could only lift two pounds. Then I went to five pounds, but I'm thankful that now I could lift 45, 50 pounds, and that's like the max right now. But I'm getting, my body's getting used to lifting weights and, and, and going on the treadmill and going long distance of walking. Because before I couldn't go long distance without like being out of breath because I had that collapsed lung. Um, my back would start hurting like tremendously and my nerves would go crazy. And it was like a very hectic thing. So I couldn't be as physical as I wanted to be. So right now I'm, I'm really enjoying going to the gym and, and being able to lift up weights and, and being there and just, you know hustling and, and pushing my body you know I, I do it I know my limits I know when it's too much so I, I watch myself but the important part is that I'm growing and that it's never too late and I'm really enjoying it right now I'm really enjoying life right now I'm hanging out with friends I'm going to work I'm hanging out with my family going out with them I'm making jokes and my every day has been eventful every day I wake up and I'm like what's what's coming up today and I'm, I've been busy and I feel blessed. Um, so I'm excited um, for this year. I'm excited with to come. And I know it's not over. I know it's just been a couple weeks. But I could only imagine what's going to be coming up next. Um, but with that, I want to say to please share these videos. Um, please share them because I know there's people out there who feel like they're alone. I know there's people out there who are tired of the doctor visits and tired of the medications and t tired of popping the medicines, the pills in their their body. It's not a pleasant thing and tired of feeling sleepy and tired of feeling anxious. And, you know, it's not a pleasant thing. 
but please share this video i encourage you um or message me or go on facebook and invite me and let's talk let's talk about life let's talk about you know each other's journeys you know let's encourage one another um so i'm hoping hopefully hoping that this video can encourage someone to not give up that it will be okay and i hope you guys enjoyed this song um it's not the best um because i've been rusty um but i hope you guys enjoy the song and god with that god bless you